Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today's video, it's going to be a long one. You're going to want to grab a drink and a snack because I am sharing with you guys all of the makeup speed reviews on all of the makeup that I tried in February of 2023. Get ready. We have a lot to talk about. So before we begin today's video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. Um, I did post something in my community tab uh, the other day as well as on Instagram regarding my work. I am a teacher for those of you that don't know. Um, I don't want to get into that in today's video. If you have seen my community section, if you've seen my Instagram, you know what I'm referring to. Um, and I just want to thank you guys so much for the outpouring of love and support. It really, it really meant a lot to me. I am doing better. I still have, you know, some anxiety um, over everything, but you know, every day it just keeps getting better and better. And what better way to distract me than to talk about makeup. So let's dive on into it, guys. So this type of video is new for my channel on 2023. This is just my speed reviews on all of the makeup that I tried in February 2023, and I will have my February playlist linked in a pinned comment so that you can see detailed reviews, first impressions, demos on pretty much all of the products that I am talking about today. If I forget anything, if you notice that I used a product earlier this month and I'm not talking about it in today's video, one, it could be that I used it towards the very end of the month and I still need to try it a couple more times, or two, I just forgot. So leave it in the comments, ask whatever questions you have, and I will be sure to respond to you guys. All right, so where am I going to start first? I think I'm going to start here with the BK Beauty and Risa Does Makeup Eyelash Collaboration. They were kind enough to send me all four of the new styles. Vegas, this one right here is the only one I haven't gotten a chance to try out yet, but I've been loving the Day Club lashes. And as you can see, I do trim them down quite a bit. These have been my favorite so far. Um, these other ones are Stiletto, a little bit more dramatic. And then we have the half lashes. These I didn't have to trim at all. This style is martini. I'm really happy to see a half lash in this collection and I'm really happy for Risa Does Makeup. I think they did, her and BK Beauty, uh, Lisa J, the owner of BK Beauty, I think they did a beautiful job with this collaboration and that's different. We don't always see lash collaborations so I was really happy to welcome that into my stash. Next up I have this from Kosas and this is their Glow IV Vitamin Enriched or Vitamin Infused used skin enhancer. This is going to be similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. If you have that product already, you don't necessarily need this one. I can see this being worn alone on top of your sunscreen to give you that nice bronzy glow. Mix it in with your foundation, maybe a matte foundation to give it a bit of a glow, or also a foundation that might be a little too light for you going into spring and summer. I've been enjoying this product and I'm happy that I was able to pick that up. Okay, so next we're going to talk about about the Game Beauty and Persona 5 Royal collaboration. I am unfamiliar with video games. I don't play video games and Game Beauty is a gaming inspired makeup brand. Love the brand. Um, I just don't know. I don't know this game. I don't know the characters. A lot of you seem to love it though. They were kind enough to send me the entire collection in PR. So I do have a dedicated video over this. Um, I loved swatching this collection out. I love taking pictures of this collection. It was a massive collection, and in that collection, we got two nine pan palettes. This was the more colorful one of the two. This one, Metaverse, this is my favorite palette. I thought this one performed so well. They both perform well, but I just, there was something special about this palette. And I do think you can buy a lot of these things um, as individual products. The blushes they released, they released four different blushes. I have a couple of them here. This is a pink one. They also released this beautiful red blush. Pair them together, the pink and the red, fabulous combination. There's also this lilac blush. Um, they did a fantastic job. We got some lippies over here. We even got like some, I almost forgot to try these in the video, but these were like single shadows and they're not, they're kind of like a duochrome. 
these were beautiful these swatched amazing um check out the entire collection over on the game beauty website if you're a fan of persona 5 royal i am saying that right right yeah i think so but um let me know your thoughts on this massive game beauty collection i know some of you out there you have been just obsessed with the collection or let me know if you're planning on picking it up um, i'll have it linked in the description box next up i had let's see profusion okay so i tried this recently um i've gotten a chance to use it once since filming with it initially in that review video i did uh, of this um is it the butterfly i forget what it's called the exact name of the collection but um this is like the butterfly palette the free spirit butterfly palette um in that video i create created two different looks with it you know it's a nice pastel color story for spring it's affordable it's 14 bucks you're getting 25 different shadows um there were a couple other things that i picked up in the collection but it just didn't wow me i have other profusion palettes in my stash that have done a much better job with this one than this one does um so i'm gonna say pass on that i wanted to show you guys I can find them here we go I wanted to show you guys some other things I picked up in this collection these two powder blushes right here I mean I think they're they're cute as far as you know the butterfly in the pan and the two different shades I didn't think these were that great um, I think definitely profusion does a great liquid blush formula so I would definitely recommend for you guys to check that out there was a lip trio that I picked up I don't know I think the other one is probably at the bottom of the basket this was my favorite thing in the collection this is a matte lip cream these aren't the most long wearing but the colors that included in the trio are really solid so I would say maybe pass on this and if you're looking for new lippies then just add the lippies to your collection next let's talk about the blush of the moment I think this blush has been sold out on the Sephora website it is the new one from one size it is the cheap clapper 3d blush trio you're getting a cream a matte powder and a highlighter this one is the shade attention seeker it's beautiful it lives up to the hype at least I think it does it wears so well it wears all day long and there's just something about the highlighter mixed with the other two um, formulas in here the matte and the cream it's just it's beautiful if you're looking to add a new pink blush I would sign up for the email notifications that way you'll be notified when it comes back in stock because this one is definitely worth trying out next up is LYS beauty and I did a little LYS beauty haul the other day not just from Sephora but from QVC and I've said this before I said that in that video that I made but um I've said this I think one or two more times after buy your LYS beauty if you can from QVC because they are doing the cutest little sets right now and they usually have them priced really well they'll have maybe like a couple blushes with a brush or they'll have like an eyeshadow palette with a blush and a lippy they just do nice little sets they have easy pay I I am a QVC fanatic. I buy so much stuff from there. So I'm going to recommend you go check out LYS at QVC. But if Sephora is all you have available, then definitely try it out. This is uh, their new eyeshadow palette, one of them. This is the Love Yourself eyeshadow palette in the shade Unapologetic. I thought this was great. You know, um, the triangular packaging, this is their theme, the theme of their overall, overall brand. I know some people were kind of a little hesitant because of the pans. I haven't had trouble you know using this palette my brush fits in there just fine I thought it was cute I thought it was a cute release from the brand I just love that they kept with a the triangle theme as well I hadn't tried out their highlighters yet so this one is the aim high pressed highlighter in the shade brave it is a very light champagne gold highlighter it's a beautiful highlighter by far one of the best things that I've tried from LYS Beauty has to be their contour contour slash bronzer stick this is the uh, no limits bronzer stick in the shade harmony harmony is unfortunately a shade that is sold out quite often and that is the reason why it's taking me so long to try this out this was released a few months ago um, over on the Sephora website and also on the LYS Beauty website but Harmony which is the second shade is like 
always sold out. So I managed to get it. I got it from Sephora. I had signed up for the email notification. So definitely do that if this is a shade that you've been wanting. It's such a creamy, easy to blend bronzer. I just, I absolutely love it. And I also picked up one of their new lipsticks. I love this. I love how skinny it is. Again, triangular packaging. They kept with the theme. I love that. And I'm just excited. I'm excited for the brand. Happy to see them expanding. There's a lot of good in this brand. So definitely let me know what some of your favorite LYS beauty products are. All right, next we're going to talk about the four different foundations that I tried in February. First up is the new one from KVD. This is their Good Apple Serum Foundation. I have the shade Light 10 in this one. This one is uh, described as light for cool under or fair to light with cool undertones. I usually go more for like a neutral or warm undertone, but surprise, surprise, this was a very nice shade match on me. The only thing with this foundation the packaging is stunning it just doesn't get me a good 10 hours of wear and that's what I need my foundation to do I think it's a beautiful finish I think it provides really good coverage but on me it only looks great for about maybe seven hours and then yeah it starts to show its signs of wear unfortunately the good apple balm foundation um, I did a I did two videos with this by the way I did a full-on two-day wear test with this and then I did one day where I wore both of them side by side um, the balm actually ended up winning in that particular video but the balm is more finicky sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I find that this has worn pretty consistently so you know I'll let you decide which one you think is gonna be better for your skin type I am 40 years old with normal to oily skin if that helps you you know make some good buying decisions a glowy foundation that I tried recently is this new one from Tarte. This is their new Maracuja Juicy Glow Foundation. I picked this up from QVC. It is already available at Sephora. I don't think it's available at, at Ulta yet. It may or may not be. I know I saw it at Sephora. I got the shade 16N, which is described as fair light neutral. I will let you guys know the shades do lean a little bit dark. I'm usually like in the 14 shade range and they didn't have anything. It went from 12 to 16. So I definitely could have been that shade in the middle. This is like very glowy. This is like almost like you're putting on the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, like you're putting on double of that and then, you know, you're getting the coverage with the foundation. I definitely need to powder it down. It does wear well on my normal to oily skin, but if I don't powder it down, it's not going to look great. I definitely need to powder and I need to do at least one touch up during the day. I like a glowy foundation and for me, once I pair this with bronzer and blush and highlighter, and all that stuff um, it looks better but just on its own for me it's just a little too glowy and you're talking about somebody who loves to glow but I do think Tarte did good with it I do think it lasts um, again just wear your helping products if you're like a normal to oily skin type like mine um, because that's definitely going to help prolong the wear of this particular foundation. Next. So next up is my very first Gucci Beauty purchase and I tried out their new Luminous Matte Foundation. I have the shade 130W in this one. This is a pretty foundation. I don't know that it looks amazing at the 10 hour check-in. I mean it looks okay. I definitely need to wear this with primer, powder, and setting spray. Um, but I do like the coverage. I do enjoy the finish. Is it worth the $69 price tag? <sighs> Probably not. And you have to understand it's a luxury brand. That's why, you know, they're charging so much. I know a lot of you, there's a lot of things you love from Gucci Beauty. And hopefully I can try out some of those products that you've recommended, like the blush and the bronzer. Um, you know, it's just, I was, I'm happy. I'm happy that I got to try it out for you guys. Uh, again, I, I don't try a lot of luxury makeup on my channel. Um, so it was nice. It was nice to kind of mix things up a little bit and try it out. However, I will say that out of the four foundations that I tried in February, 
this has got to be the most amazing foundation that I've tried. This is a new one from Laura Mercier. This is the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I have the shade 1C2 Chiffon. This is a pretty decent shade match. It's a smidge too dark, but I'll work with it. It'll be a nice shade going into spring and summer. I am amazed by how well this foundation holds up all day long. Now, where I live in South Texas, it's hot, it's humid. I wore this foundation earlier this week and I was outside for a good three hours straight with this. It didn't budge. I didn't get excessively oily. It looked great. It looked great all day. It held up to the South Texas heat and humidity. This is a beautiful medium coverage natural finish foundation. Laura Mercier does a lot of amazing complexion products. Not a fan of the powders, but concealer and foundation, particularly this one, amazing. Definitely recommend trying this one. Next, let's talk about dermatology. They sent me these items in PR. I'm actually wearing this today. I've been wearing this one quite a bit. This is their day cream with SPF 40. This is a really nice moisturizer with SPF and I like the little pump that it has on there. It's an airtight container. Again, I have normal to oily skin and that uh, moisturizer works great on me. Their number one primer. This is a pore blurring primer. I like it. I've had a good experience with it. And and I like a lot of dermatology products. I think they make some amazing skincare products. Um, I thought I had a code with them. I need to double check. I know I have an affiliate link with them, but if I have a code, it'll be in the description box. But these are definitely two things that I think are worth checking out. I also recommend checking out their sunscreens. They have a tinted sunscreen and then they have a regular one pretty amazing. I've been using those sunscreens for well over a year now. There's a lot of good things in the dermatology skincare brand and these two are definitely worth trying. So next up are one of my favorites. One of my favorites for February 2023 and that is the new Charlotte Tilbury Matte Blush Wands. I picked up all four shades. I mean these go without saying. These are amazing blushes in easy to wear shades that last all day. I do think that these are fast drying so work quickly when you apply them to your cheeks but you know for being my very first Charlotte Tilbury blush purchase these just did such a fantastic job I can't believe it took me so long to try Charlotte Tilbury blushes but I'm very happy with this purchase next up I have some wet n wild beauty products to share with you so I'm a little surprised at this one this is your new waterproof breakup proof mascara. I'm surprised because I don't really like waterproof mascaras. I tend to stay away from them just because, you know, I don't want to deal with like removal. It's just, I don't feel the need to have a waterproof mascara right now in my stash, but I tried this one because I love the breakup proof line that Wet n Wild has. This is pretty good. This is not that difficult to remove, but I love the separation and volume that it gives to my lashes. Um, I think out of all the waterproof mascaras that I've tried, which has been few and far between, this is definitely my favorite, as is the addition of the Skinny Breakup Proof Liquid Liner. This is a brush tip, a very fine brush tip black eyeliner. I do have it on today. Um, this is great. These breakup proof liners. I mean, you guys hear me talk about it all the time. I'm always using this. Whenever I have black on my top lash line, whenever I just kind of tight line, I'm either using Wet n Wild or I'm using Rare Beauty. Um, those are two of the ones that I alternate uh, back and forth between. The one thing that was a miss from the brand this past month was the um, liquid lipstick, the liquid lipstick and the gloss. So on one end, you get the matte liquid lipstick the other end you get a gloss I didn't think that this wore well it rubbed off after maybe a couple hours of wear and I didn't like how it was coming off so I would say pass on it the official name is lock and shine lip color and gloss this is the shade uh, what is it lotus petal beautiful shade just don't really like what's inside the tube next up is the ColourPop and snow white collection 
beautiful was this? How many of you guys picked this collection up? I love the artwork. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs were one of my favorite what to watch when I was growing up. I think the color story is spot on. I mean, it matches all of the colors in Snow White's dress. I think ColourPop did a beautiful job with this palette. The palette performs really well. I think you can still find it on their website. I've been using the lip scrub quite a bit that came in this collection. This smells and tastes exactly like a sour apple martini. One of my favorite things though from this collection has got to be, let me kind of put them all in my hand here do it like this. The Super Shock blushes that they included in this collection. Beautiful. You get a dark, a medium, and a light shade. This can be almost like a blush topper. These are beautiful. These are beautiful blushes. I think I think I would check out the eyeshadow palette and definitely the Super Shock blushes if you can buy them um, as a blush trio. I don't know if they sell them that way. I would do that because I think they're really, really good. They also included some lip glosses, uh, some bullet lipsticks. I think there were some lip liners. I just don't have the lip liners up here. It was a full collection. It was a beautiful collection. Let me know if you picked it up and what your experience has been so far. Next, let's talk about the blush that I'm wearing today. And this is from Danessa Myricks. I was a little hesitant to pick this up just because that blurring beauty balm, that foundation foundation primer thing that didn't work for me but the blush is beautiful I love it the shade that I picked up is Bellini I wouldn't mind picking up one or two other shades let me know if you have picked this up I think it is a really cute product and a really nice release from Danessa Myricks so next we have the two new Adept Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes we have the La Cienega palette, which is after, uh, is it LA or somewhere in California? You guys educated me that um, in the video that I did using this palette. I think that it's a really pretty color story. I love that Adept gave us 10 matte shadows and they're neutral shadows so i think that's great too because you can definitely mix and match this palette with other adept palettes i say that because adept Co uh, cosmetics their eyeshadow palettes tend to be more shimmer heavy palettes than matte heavy palettes so for me this was a welcome addition and we get those five beautiful duochrome shadows at the bottom um this was part of the mystery box i still haven't tried the eyeliners that were included in the mystery box box but let me know what your experience has been so far with this palette I do have a code with Adept Cosmetics I'll put it right here I don't remember if it's Steph or Steph 10 but that will give you 10% off of your order um pretty much on anything on the Adept Cosmetics website. This though is my favorite palette of the two and this is the Inspired palette. It is inspired by the comic the comic book is it arrow right i think you guys also educated me um about uh this inspired palette in the comments of that particular video that i did i love this color story five mattes 10 shimmers beautiful i mean you guys know i love green eyeshadow this was just such a beauty to work with everything you know all of the the shimmers and duochromes in here i thought just everything performed so so well definitely one of my favorites and i love the packaging adept cosmetics always does like that faux leather packaging and this is just this is just beautiful they're both beautiful but this one is my favorite let's go now to sugar drizzle and the release of their new setting powders um there was kind of like a mix-up with the translucent shade this one uh unintentionally had glitter in it so I think they have pulled this one from the website so I'm not going to talk about that one I'm going to talk about this one this is the banana shade in their matte setting powder um this is beautiful this is a really finely milled setting powder that on me has just done such a great job on my normal to oily skin oh I got powder going everywhere it was like sitting upside down in this basket that I have but that has been a really nice setting powder get the banana one they temporarily pulled the translucent one until they can get the 
right one in stock. But if you picked up the banana powder and you've gotten your order in already, let me know what your experience has been. I do have a code with Sugar Drizzle. It is STEF10. I think I got that one right. STEF10. And that will give you 10% off of your order. Let's go now to the Natasha Denona Love Face Palette. This has now been released. <laughs> Pretty much all Natasha Denona retailers. This made my bottoms list or my fails list of February 2023 just because it is such a dupable color story. We definitely have these shades a few times over in our makeup collections and I don't feel like this particular shadow, which I needed this particular shadow to be A+, I don't feel it was A+. Um, it was a little patchy on me. The blush was just okay. There's just something about this palette that I know if I didn't have this YouTube channel, I probably would have passed on it. I got mine from Look Fantastic when it was, I guess, released when it shouldn't have been released. And I was able to get, you know, 15% off of my order. They did raise the price on these face palettes. I think they are now $69. $72, something like that. I, I don't fully remember, but I know there was, I think, at least a $10 price increase. If you pick this palette up, what do you think? Do you think you had, do you feel like you had these shades already? Do you feel like you got something that you were missing in your collection? If you had a small collection or you have a small collection, then I think this is a nice way to get these shades into your stash and try the brand. But this is not my favorite face palette. The one she released, was it last year or year before? That one I think performs so much better than this one does. The highlighter in that palette is phenomenal. I think one of her best highlighters that she's ever done. This one was just, I don't know, just missed the mark for me. Next, let's talk about this cute little contour slash bronzer stick from Milk Makeup. I have the shade Stoked. I've been enjoying it. The size was a little surprising. I didn't think it was going to be this tiny, but the shade is pretty good. I think I got the second shade. I love it. It's easy to work with. It's easy to blend out and it looks really good. You know, you can see it looks darker when you initially apply it. And then once it's blended out, it kind of shears out a bit. I think it's been a nice product. And that's because Milk Makeup can be hit or miss for me. But this one is a cute little bronzer stick to add to your stash. So from Milk, we go now to House Labs and their amazing blush release. I think a lot of you have picked up one, if not two, of these matte blushes. This is a matte blush. This one is the shade Watermelon Bliss. This was one of the darker shades or the deeper shades that they released. I just thought that this was so fun. This was going to be so fun for spring and summer. Um, this is a good shade. This is a good blush and it lasts. You only need, because it's super pigmented, you only need a little bit. Start with a light hand and just blend from there. But this is nice. It has stain power. They have several different shades to choose from, from light to medium to deep. All neutral, wearable, but fun shades. Next is this little Nude Sticks Concealer. Now, I don't think this is a new product, but I think the size is new. And this is their cream concealer. I have the shade Nude 3. It's cute. I like it. I always like when I can get mini sizes of makeup. I got this one from Sephora, but you can find it at Ulta as well. I think it's been a good concealer. It's been pairing well with the foundations and with the setting powders that I've paired with it. So not bad. This has been my very first nude sticks purchase and so far I'm happy with it. Next let's talk about Essence and Essence dropped a lot of new stuff on the Ulta Beauty website. I think it was towards the end of January and I finally got a chance to try their, their new stuff in February. The baked blushes are beautiful. I highly recommend checking these out. I picked up three different shades. The two shades that I have here are Pretty Peach and then I have Cool Coral Love Em. I was also fairly impressed with their new eyeshadow palette, one of their new eyeshadow palettes because I think they dropped like five new eyeshadow palettes. This one right here, I'm going to call it the Butterfly Palette. It's called Blooming Wings and here is the color story. Again, we're getting that like two-sidedness. We've seen that a lot lately from eyeshadow palettes, especially like indie makeup brands and stuff. Um, we get a warm side, a cool tone side. I actually think this has been the best Essence um, eyeshadow palette that I've ever tried. And it's cute. I like the color story. The one thing that I'm not like 
over the moon about is this mascara and I am wearing it today but I also have lashes on so not really sure that you can tell too much but this is our new lash like a boss mascara I don't know I think you know lash princess is always gonna be like up there for me it's just always worked the purple one and the green one those are my favorites um, in that lash princess line this one is just okay I do kind of like the way it looks on my lower lash line though but I don't know it's not blowing me away the way some of the other essence mascaras have if you've never tried an essence mascara start with lash princess these mascaras are only like five bucks and they're great next up is the glam light and chucky collaboration i was shocked at how fast i received my order usually glam light it takes about three weeks for me to receive my order so i hope hope that all of you that did order have received it or at least received your tracking numbers. This palette is for really deep, dark eyeshadow lovers. This in my experience is it's a good formula these are great shadows there's nothing wrong with the shadows but if you're not used to working with these deep of shadows on a regular basis and much less like a full palette of them um you're gonna want to take your time with this this is not one that you can just quickly throw on and go at least not for me this is definitely something i need to take my time with kind of think about okay what do i want to do what kind of looks do i want to do with this um because all, all of the looks I mean all of the shadows in here are really deep they have one of y'all said they have like a really like a real dark undertone like a black undertone almost to them and I do agree with that um, I think the performance is spot on it's just it's a really nice palette if these are your shades you know and you like the Chucky franchise the Child's Play franchise um, all of those movies then you're gonna want to get this uh, Chuck and Tiff collection because it's Tiff it's the girlfriend or the wife also um, this is the blush I wore this the other day they are the the same shades in the pants uh, they were supposed to be different shades but uh, manufacturing error and now they are just one shade but they did reduce the price on them we also got in this collection a couple different eyeliners I've been loving this one this is their little liquid pen style eyeliner this is a oh it's a brush tip is it a brush tip or a felt tip I think it's I think I said it was a felt tip but it looks like now it's a brush tip I don't know it's really tiny but it's been really good um I've been able to create um like a nice little tight line or even like a baby wing with it it's really easy to work with um there were also a couple lipsticks with lip liners included I've been reaching for these quite a bit the one I've been reaching for the most is this one right here this one I think this was the tiff one the one that had tiff um on the box and this has been a really nice one I don't mind pairing the lipstick with the darker lip liner or the more neutral lip liner we also got a wooden black eyeliner which I've been using this in the waterline as well it's been working out great and I just think you know overall glam light did a good job with the collection they always do packaging like a plus and they didn't they didn't skip out on anything with this one they got the packaging right I mean I just you know if you love the child's play franchise if you love all the movies this is definitely worth having and owning and adding to your collection next up we have a couple things from tower 28 now the team at tower 28 was kind enough to send me this one right here this is their new sculptino this is a neutral bronzer slash contour and they sent me the shade getty which is the second shade and i think this is a perfect shade match for me this is not going to give you that luminous effect that bronzino gives you and here you can see it next to the milk bronzer so the milk is definitely more cool this one is a little more neutral to warm leaning but again you don't get that luminosity that bronzino gives you and i like this because not everybody wants you know a glowy bronzer or anything like that this could be a nice option for those of you who've been wanting to try tower 28 but bronzino is just too glowy for you try sculptino um i think you're gonna find that that one's gonna work out um, a little bit better for you if you don't want all of that glow i also picked up their new like lip crayons that's what i'm calling them but they're called juicy balm tinted lip balm this is the shade squeeze i'll swatch this back here on my hand a really pretty fun orangey shade and then this one right here this one is shake 
Squeeze is my favorite. You can see Shake is really light and I like them. I think they're cute. So next I have a few things from LA Girl and I don't remember if I talked about this mascara in my January haul video, but this is our new lift off mascara. This one I didn't like. I don't really think it did much for my lashes. So I'm going to recommend that you kind of just skip out on that. These eyeshadow palettes. So I like these two right here. These two are pretty awesome. This one is Seduce. And then this one over here is Juicy. Juicy is my favorite of the two. I was really looking forward to this one. This one is Cowgirl, the green one. Well, kind of like the green one, but this one just didn't perform well. The shimmers were very dull, lackluster. These are about five, six dollars, but eh, I would skip out on them and just look for something from e.l.f. or Wet n Wild because I don't know. I think these are going to be hit or miss. They had a blue one. They had a purple one, like a pink one. These are the three that I got. So two out of the three were pretty good, but they're not amazing. They're not like a must have for your stash. LA Girl does better, larger palettes. The ones like that come in that plastic palette, I think they are, is it 16 shades or 20 different shades? One of them is um, Festy Bestie, Hey Hey Vacay. All of those that come in that larger palette size have been really great. I have three of them. Love them all. I think these little quad shadows you can definitely pass on. So in February, I tried a bunch of Tarte blushes. These are their latest ones, and these are their blush tape. There were three different shades released. I didn't get the deeper shade. It was more of like a berry tone shade. I got this one right here that is called, where is the name of this one? This one is Peach, and then this other one is Pink. So these are more like highlighters than they are blushes in my opinion. There is the peach one. So these are going to be like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury glow wands, not the blush ones. The blush ones that Charlotte Tilbury released, I showed you guys um, those earlier. Those are matte blushes and those are pigmented. Here you can see pink and then peach. And I just don't think that these are really blushes. I think they're more blush toppers or just highlighters, to be honest. I probably should have gotten the third shade, but they were like $35. So kind of felt like, okay, you know, I've already bought other Tarte blushes, which I have right here. I kind of needed to cool it a little bit. This one I've really been enjoying. This is the Tarte C Glow Light Cheek and Lip Watercolor. This one is in the shade Sun Flush. I haven't tried it on my lips, but this is a beautiful cheek color. And it's more matte, even though it says glow, but it's definitely more of a matte, more of like a satin, I guess you could say. At least that's the way it's coming across on my skin. Um, this one is super interesting. This is one of those that uh, changes colors depending on your pH level. This is a Maracuja Juicy Shift. This is also for the uh, lip and cheeks. And so it looks green in the tube. But once you apply it and allow it to warm up on the skin, I know you can't see it just yet, but it's already changing color. It turns into a beautiful pink color, at least on me, that's the color it changes to. And it's actually really pretty. It's dewy, it's glowy, but it's a nice shade. This green one is called Kiwi. I think there's like six or seven different shades. Have I tried this on my lips? Yes, I think I have. I think I have. Um, but on the cheeks, it was really cute. Like it looked, it looked good. It was cool. It's a different product to try out. The last one I have here, this one has been out for a while. This is the Man Eater Blush and Glow. This one is in the shade Coral. This is a really nice one. I don't know why I had never tried this one before. And some of you all had mentioned, there it is right there. Some of y'all had mentioned that, you know, these hardly get talked about. They hardly get mentioned in videos, like YouTube videos and stuff, but they're really good. And I agree. I don't know why nobody really talked about these, but Blush and Glow Cheek Plump from Tarte, really cool. I like it. So if I had to rank these, cause I know one of y'all asked if I could rank them. I'm going to go with the Man Eater one. I'm going to put that in first place. I'm going to put the Glow Light in second place. I'm going to do the Juicy one in third place. And because I don't think these are blushes, I think they're more highlighters, I'm going to put the new blush tapes 
in fourth place. But I think they're all really cool. I think, you know, they all serve a purpose. And if you're just looking to add some newness from Tarte into your stash, then I think either one of these, any one of these is going to be great. Next, I have this little bronzer from Laura Mercier, and this is their Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer. I haven't tried this yet, like all over my skin or mixed in with any foundations. The only way I've been using this is as a liquid bronzer. The shade I picked up is 03 Sunbeam, but this is really pretty. This is a pretty product. I got this one from Sephora. Here is the shade. It's really easy to work with. It does give a nice little glow without being too glowy. And it's cute, you know, I like it. Uh, if you like working with liquid bronzer, then I would definitely recommend this one. If you don't want to fuss with it, like the little tube and all of that, then I would definitely go for the milk one or the Tower 28 one. So next up, I have this little palette from Rare Beauty. The team at Rare Beauty was kind enough to send me a cute little PR package that included this, a mini size of the mascara, a full size of the mascara, a really cute makeup bag. You can buy this palette and the mini mascara as a set at some Sephora and I want to say it retails for like less than 30 bucks. This is a really cute palette. It performs really well. It is a pressed glitter right here but you don't get fallout from it. It's a really nice palette. It's a solid little neutral palette and thank you so much Rare Beauty for sending this my way. And last but not least is the new one size lip duo. This is the, I don't know, what is, oh the Lip Snatcher uh, in the shade No Speed Limit. So we have a matte liquid lipstick on this side and a gloss on this side. Unfortunately, this doesn't last. Like that Wet n Wild lippy that I showed you guys earlier, this doesn't even make it to lunch before it starts coming off. I tried wearing it just the liquid lipstick side without the gloss and then together it performs the same way either way. It's a beautiful shade though. Like this shade, I wore it just a couple days ago. It is stunning. It's like a red orange shade. I love it, but it just, it doesn't last on me. Um, I wanted to get other shades, but you know, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on that and just keep using this one. Um, let me know what your experience has been with this. Unfortunately for me, it's a beautiful shade. It just, it's gonna be something I'm gonna have to keep touching up. Okay guys, so with that, we wrap up my February haul. These were all items that I either bought myself, which majority I did buy myself, some things I was generously gifted in PR, um, but they're all things that I tried during the month of February. What were some of your favorites for February 2023? What were some of your misses? Did I miss anything? Did I leave out anything that you guys know that I tried in February? Just leave it in a comment and I'll be sure to to give you guys my answer because I feel like I might be missing one or two things. I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot to go through. It's a lot to talk about. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much. And I will have my February playlist linked in a pinned comment so you can check out all the videos that I uploaded during the month. And one last thing, because I know y'all are going to ask me about this look. I did film it. It will be up soon if it's not up already. And it is using the new Clarity Cosmetics Safari palette. So definitely be on the lookout for this one. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is y'all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Cheers. I'll see y'all very soon. Bye.